Your kids won't eat their supper. Get an e-bike. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. I got another custom e-bike build for you. I wanna go over what bike this is, why this thing is awesome, why if you have a bike like this, you should totally convert it into an electric bike. Totally change your life. You know, your job's not going good. Your wife is mad at you and just threatening to leave you. Your kids won't eat their supper. Get an e-bike. Forget about it all. All right, so if you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I take bikes, I convert them into e-bikes professionally. That's all I do, pretty much all day, every day. So let's get right into it. This is a specialized pitch. This is a hardtail mountain bike. You see it's got Suntour XCT front suspension. This is one of Specialized's more entry-level to mid-level mountain bikes, but it's a specialized. So even their entry-level bikes are better than most people's high-end bikes. And obviously that's a that's a slippery slope that I'm getting into, but you can't go wrong with the Specialized. If you buy something brand new, even like their lowest end bike, this is still a great bike. It still has quality components from soup to nuts, and it's just a solid riding bike. So what we did to it is added a Bafang BBSO2 motor to it. It's a 750 watt rated mid-drive. So this is the highest powered street legal bike that you can get in most of the states here in the USA. I know some places it's a thousand watts. I think it's New Jersey and Oregon. You can put a thousand watts on and that'll be still considered street legal. For a battery, we went with a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour with Panasonic GA cells. This is the cream of the crop as far as battery goes in my IM. H O uh, display. We went with a 500 C color display. It's that small integrated one. So the buttons are built into the display. I really like this display. Shows you all the graphical data, like real time voltage, how much power you're drawing. And it's really small, sleek. Um, next to that, we've got the throttle. So you could use pedal assist or throttle. That's the question I get asked all the time is, is it pedal assist or throttle? And why can't you have a throttle on it? It's both, it's pedal assist and throttle. You could override it, hit the throttle, go. And no, these pedals are not gonna keep moving. There's a freewheeling crank like this. So the motor will spin, your feet are not gonna keep going with it. We added a gear shift sensor onto it. It's just an automatic clutch, cuts power while you're shifting. You're not shredding your gears and shredding your chain and just doing damage to your bike. If you use it properly, that is. Of course, if you really wanna damage your bike, you totally can. This one has an all-in-one gear shift sensor brake unit. So we just put an inline brake cutoff in here. So we didn't replace it with a new lever on this, just on this side we did. But on this side, we just kept the brake unit and just added that sensor in there. They've already had the headlight rechargeable one. I didn't add that, they already had it. Yeah, but it, we had a monsoon, it rained like crazy here all last night and today. So everything is just mud. I'm not gonna go ride this customer's bike through the mud. I mean, they wanna come pick it up here in a couple hours, so I don't have time to do a Johnny Nerd Out test in there. I know, I'm sorry. I think if we all just close our eyes, we could pretend what that Johnny Nerd Out test would be like. So let's just take, you know, 30, 40 minutes here. I'll keep the camera rolling. Let's just imagine what it would be like. But yeah, this thing is probably gonna be doing like 35 miles an hour with just the throttle. If you want to pedal this thing to 40 miles an hour, you totally can, but that's way too fast for a bicycle. People are, if you want to go faster, like get a motorcycle. This is plenty fast. It's like the perfect blend of power. This thing will, is going to climb any hill way better than a hub motor would. Okay, so the total price on this one without labor was 1225 bucks about. So yeah, if you've got a bike like this, say you've already got a bike like this for 1200 bucks, you could turn this thing into just a performance beast. This thing is gonna give you like a 60 mile range and that thing's gonna push you at 35 miles an hour. You cannot find any e-bike anywhere for 1200 bucks brand new that can do that for you. E-bike conversions are the way to go. It's the future. Get the word out. <laughs> Tell people that convert your own bike. You don't have to go through me to do it, but just every time I see like a $2,000 pre-made hub bike out there, I'm just like, man, you're doing it wrong. 1200 bucks. And it's fun. It's not so much that you have to go 35 miles an hour. It's just that you have that power on tap. It's that thrust. It's like driving like a manual transmission car versus like an automatic. Even if you have the same car, it's gonna feel faster because you're using those gears. Anyways, I'm gonna go on to another rant. I'm gonna stop it. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Later.